hello you guys so welcome back to my channel if you're new here it's taylor dior and i am back with another video so so you guys see that thumbnail you basically see that um, title so i just wanted to tell you guys where i've been um and the reason why um i got into this look i don't want to claim depression but um i had stopped doing my makeup for a while um i know these, you guys if you tune into my channel you see that you know majority of my channel is like a beauty channel so i do a lot of makeup and stuff like that um quite a few things happen in my life you know dealing with school you know i'm a wife a daughter a, a sister you know a granddaughter and stuff like that so a lot of stuff has happened within my life um that um i'm not going to discuss at this time maybe at a later time or whatever if i'm feeling up to it but um yeah i just stopped doing makeup um, I just felt like, you know, makeup was a way for me to, you know, <clears throat> escape from all the things that I'm dealing with outside of, um, you know, my peace, my comfort zone and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so that, it was a way for me to, it was kind of like a, a therapeutic session for me, um, to just, you know, block the world out and, you know, not worry about all the things that I had going on outside of, you know, me just doing makeup and, you know, enjoying my time, um, my, you know, just being in the comfort of, of peace for me, you know what I'm saying? Makeup was like a therapy session for me. It was like, you know, something where I can escape from the outside world, all the things that were going on, all the things that, you know, bother me and stuff like that. I didn't want to think about those things. I didn't want to, you know, worry about that thing. What made me happy in the midst of the moment is doing my makeup. And that's something that I loved. And, you know, that was a passion of mine. You know, it wasn't a, uh, I wouldn't say like a, uh, a, a job or anything like that it was just basically just my hobby it's just what i love to do and what i love to do and i've been doing it for years i've been doing my own makeup since i was like 14 and 15 and i'm 28 now so you know i've been all those years makeup has been my thing like that's something that i found that you know besides hair of course you know that i was doing what i I was doing my hair before makeup, but when I got into makeup, you know, I didn't stop doing my hair or anything like that, not trying to get off topic, but anything consistent of beauty, that's where my passion was at. I, I grew up in it, seeing my mom, my grandma, my aunties, and, you know, cousins and stuff like that um, do the hair, and, you know, that was a big thing in my family, like, we got a lot of talented people, like, we do hair makeup and stuff like that so you know i basically grew up in that so as i got older like preteens and stuff like that you know i started investing in you know doing the beauty type stuff that fascinated me so i was able to do it and i was great at it so you know i just that that was just something that i fell in love with and you know being at some of the stuff that happened and stuff like that me like dealing with me working on me trying to work on me and was frustrated with working on me kind of like had a lot to do with that too with me stop you know doing the makeup and stuff like that um stuff that i love to do um it, it kind of you know uh had an effect on that um especially with me you know trying to you know lose weight keep my health in in intact and stuff like that so it just kind of like deterred me away from it and um because i was so stressed out and worried and stuff like that um i'm just like trying to get myself together like honestly oh excuse me y'all i don't have my tripod so i'm just winging it at this point but yeah, so that that played a lot in it. Um, I'm really uh, like starting to like get in a place in a space where okay, I want to get back to me. In order for me to focus on other things that's going on with me, like as far as my health, losing weight and stuff like that, I got to be in love with who I am like right now. I can't be 
stressed out and all this and that because I, 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 I wouldn't say that I hate myself because I love myself. I love me. You know, I wouldn't want to be anybody else. And, you know, I'm getting to a place where I'm having to really, like, not just love me, but to be in love with me. And that co- that consists of everything that that is going on with me, like my appearance, everything, like everything. So I'm focusing on that. And um, I've been doing great at it. And so I don't see myself, you know, focus on, you know, all the bad things that, you know, I really needed to eliminate from life um, affecting me as of right now. It's not because I'm loving who I am. Um, I'm loving to get back into the makeup because that takes time away from all the negative things that I needed to eliminate from my life. Um, that took a lot of time and stuff from it. So I just got to get back to me. And, you know, I was just so busy, like trying to focus on all the bad things and all the stuff that I didn't like about myself that, you know, I started forgetting me, losing me, and also having to, you know, play a role in my family where I'm having to issue myself out to each and every body. And it's just taking a toll on me. I had to take a step back and like, like really just focus on me to get myself together because not only it was boiling down to become a mental thing, it was becoming a physical thing, um, a health thing, all that type of stuff. I didn't know all this type of stuff was going on with me because of, you know, the emotional distress that I was in and all this type of stuff, doing this and that for everybody running here and this and that for everybody, losing sleep, looking, losing focus, trying to do this, work, school, wife, sister, daughter, cousin, granddaughter, all this stuff. It, it just took a lot from me. And I stopped doing all the things that I love doing. I stopped, you know, um, focusing on maintaining my weight and stuff like that. And, you know, I'm at my biggest weight I've ever been in my life, like right now. Um, I just can't. So I have to focus on, you know, loving on myself and not beating myself up about you know, the changes that need to be made in my life. Um, because you know, the, the situation that's happened, everything that's, that's going on with me now has been done. And the only thing that I can do right now is to stay positive, not positive. Uh, I was trying to say focus, but excuse me to stay positive about my current situation and to stay focused, remain focused. And as well, you know, giving some of my elective time out to family members and stuff like that. My husband, you know, it's just, it, I just need balance in my life and I'm learning to balance that. And a lot of stuff that I was afraid to let go, I've let it go because, um, I'm taking a break from a lot of things, uh, school, everything, a lot of things that was taking up too much of my time, making me lose who I am as a person, as a woman, I've let it go. Like I really let it go. And right now i'm i'm at my happiest you guys i'm not i'm not even gonna flex about that i am really at my happiest um i'm still focusing on losing weight and stuff like that i went all the way out as to going to get my body done and you guys i was like a couple of uh weeks away from my surgery i just i canceled it because i was like like girl what are you doing you're trying to take the easy way out. You ain't never had surgery. Like when you gain weight and, you know, it was a point in your life where you was depressed and going through anxiety, um, just whatever, you know, losing your focus, forgetting about who you are, forgetting about yourself internally as a woman. I bounced back from all of that and I did everything the natural traditional way and I was back to myself in no time and I I don't know what made me feel like I needed to have surgery but I canceled it like at the last moment like I don't I don't need this because I know what I what needs to be done in order for me to see the results that I need to see and so I just you know focused on that um I prayed about it most importantly prayer changes thing and people I understand if you're not religious um please don't take this out of context or anything like that this is not to you know bash anyone or to target a a specific group of people none of that but 
for me, prayer changes things in my life, in my household, and everything. It really does. God has always been here for me from the the moment he blew breath into my body and you know I just don't see it any other way and I've never had anyone in this life on this planet that I had to depend on but him and I'm going to depend on him every single time and that's just facts that's just factual and I'm going to continue to do that like I'm really going to continue to do that and I am so happy that you know I am happy and that I'm in a place where I can be happy. I can bounce back. Um, not all the way, I'm not all the way bounced back, but I'm getting to a place where I had to internally love myself from the inside. And, you know, not just always, you know, from the outside, because when you're trying to love yourself from the outside, it's hard to do that, especially when there's so many things that you want to change about yourself that you don't like about yourself. It can it can really like place you in a in a, a, a place in your life where you become stagnant with who you are, your, you know, everything that you stand for, everything that you're trying to, you know, build and work your way towards it will it will hinder you from that so start loving yourself internally like from the inside and everything that you manage to like nitpick about on the outside it won't even affect you anymore because you you love yourself on the inside and that's really what matters that's really what's going to get you to the very place that you're trying to go in life especially when it's concerning you your health and it, all the goals that you're trying to reach for yourself so try doing that first um and that's that like i just really had to come on here and just tell you guys about that because when i say me as a woman i go through things and i know a lot of other women out there um, can relate to what I'm saying because we go through things like women go through a lot it is a lot to be a woman and a lot comes with being a woman so excuse me I I, I go through things and it, it doesn't matter it, it it's not something that you think your way into or anything like that it just happens over times and it sneaks up on you and you don't even realize that you you are drowning like you are you are self drowning and you don't know how to pull yourself out until you go through the motion until you go through the actual process to you just really like just grab a hold of yourself one day and just be like okay I see what's happening here and I'm feeling what's happening here so now I got to like swim my way out of this I got to dig my way out of this like I don't want to be here I don't drowning when you're drowning yourself that's a scary moment in your life that's really scary like I had to go through this in order to pull through and I'm not f fully there but I am there mentally spiritually and partially physically so I'm, I'm happy that I'm not in that place I was in six months ago I, I'm so happy I'm not in that place you guys I don't want to you know cry on this video but I'm so glad that I'm not in that in that place of my life like I'm not in that dark space anymore I'm not I'm not there and I'm so happy that you know I was able to pray my way out of it and you know constantly journaling and and stuff like that constantly praying and and just gathering um a hold of all the the bad and the, and the negative thoughts that I was having about myself like and it was only making it worse for my situation it was only making it worse for my health my weight all that type of stuff and you know a lot of things that go wrong with your body plays a plays a big factor with your appearance like my weight um, that's something that I'm going to have to talk to you guys about a little bit later because the weight gaining was not from eating. It was from a, a, a condition, you know, that I have going on that I had no acknowledgement that I had. Um, and I've, you know, had it quite around a while and it's not just one thing. It's a combination of things. That's why I said, you know, being a woman is tough. Like, bruh. Being a woman is tough. Like, 
not I can't even cap on that like I'm like how did I not know all these things was going on and you know I don't know because I can't self diagnose myself with the conditions that I was going through only a doctor can do that and women if I want to say this to all women out there please stay up to date on your medical records everything that's going on with you internally and stuff like that just start making you appointments just to go see and check out check out your body and everything that's going on with you even if you don't even if you do feel your best like you're you're thriving in life still go get you know make doctor visits and check up on your body because that's very important as a woman and you know i had to like really really um realize that you're a woman like you can't like i wouldn't say that i wasn't going to the doctors because i had um doctors appointments and visit, visits and stuff like that but it wasn't for the things that i'm finding out now it was for other things like general things in general that people go and just check up on you know um every six months check up for stds hiv and stuff like that yes i was up to date on that all the time and you know but other stuff that you don't that they if they don't show like you have to go to like a a a doctor 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 you know a, a, pra a family practitioner whatever whatever you know so y'all know what i'm talking about so ladies please make sure you stay up to date on that and stay a track up you know on track with all that and if you feel like something's going on in your life and you can't really pinpoint it go make you some doctor's appointments so that you can get down to the bottom of it and it's okay if you need therapy in the midst of going and doing all that talk to you somebody don't drown yourself if you don't have anyone to talk to or if you're just not a person that don't pray or anything like that go seek you know counseling and guidance and and um you know um therapy and stuff like that because as a woman we need that we, we we really need that to thrive our best in life and to live out our fullest potential and you know i am a first-handed witness like i could have really like drowned drowned and died and it would have been no return from that so you know that's that so um, I hope I touched bases, all the bases that I wanted to touch in this video. I just wanted to come and, you know, talk to you guys because I know I put in my last video where, you know, it was been six months since I picked up a brush and stuff like that. And, and, and that was just for makeup. Like I was drowning prior to then, I think a couple more months back, almost, I wouldn't say a, quite a year, but almost a year, um, a little bit longer than six months, but I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be winning. I'm glad to be, you know, getting my health where it needs to be and focusing on me, focusing on my weight, focusing on my life and making decisions that frees up that, you know, sense of slavery within, you know, within my mind, my thoughts and, you know, my life and my body. So I'm just happy to be here. I'm just happy to be free a free woman i'm just happy to be a free woman period okay so yeah you guys that pretty much wraps this video up i hope you guys enjoyed this video i enjoyed making this video with you guys i enjoy being back on youtube uh even though i'm a small youtuber and stuff like that and it doesn't matter this is just another hobby of mine just like makeup that i love to do so before we get out of here, head out. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And please turn your post notification bell on so you won't miss any future uploads coming from me. And thank you guys so much for tuning in my, to my channel once again. It is Taylor Dior. And I will see you guys in my next video. You guys be blessed and I love y'all.